Hi, this is Ken from Ken's Horticulture Services and ColonaGardens.com. Uh, today we're looking at the uh, uh, potted plants and house plants. And uh, many of these plants we have around our houses and we, we don't really know exactly what to do sometimes. And what I'm hoping to do today is to give you a little bit of uh, maybe a few tips to help keep those plants healthy. Uh, one of the things that happens with plants in, in the house is that uh, we often uh, water them either too much or not enough, but we do know they always need continuous watering. One of the keys to keeping healthy plants is to occasionally leach out the soil. And how we do that is by adding uh, water to the plant and washing the soil free of salts. Now people say, like, what are salts and where do they come from? Well, salts are, are basically water minerals that build up in our soils. So it comes out of our tap water. We, we water the plant with it, and water goes into the, into the soil. The plant absorbs the water, takes it up, and filters it out and, and evaporates it out through the leaves. Well, in the soil, what happens is every time we add water, we're adding water minerals. Well, the plant doesn't use many of those minerals. They just stay behind. So the plant takes the water out, leaves the minerals behind. So we add more water, plant takes the water out, minerals get left behind. And this happens again and again and again and again. And we don't give it enough water to actually swish out that buildup of salt or water minerals in our pots. In nature, that's always being flushed out. So they don't have that issue of this, uh, this salt, salt getting built up in the soils. Fertilizers are also salt. So when we fertilize, we're adding more salt. So what happens eventually is that the plants start to get burned and the edge of the leaves will go brown and the plant starts to wilt and it's not looking happy. Sometimes the roots get burned from all this salt and again it gets a bit of root rot and you'll find that your plants always always soggy wet all the time. So you need to run tepid tap water through these pots and just totally soak this thing. I set it right into a bathtub and just leave it sort of trickling. Cover the entire surface of the soil so that it's really absorbing water. And then that whole soil mass becomes super saturated and letting the water flow out the bottom of the pot and down the drain. And so what that'll do, and that can take about 45 minutes to an hour. So just trickling in a pot like that. Keep it wet. Just keep swishing away those salts. It can take about 10 minutes or so just for those salts to start to dissolve. So the first 10 or 15 minutes is dissolving the salts. And after that, that's when it starts to leach them away or rinse away those salts. So the plant just feels like a huge relief when, that, when all that salt goes away. And, it, and it's able to do its, its normal uptake of water and nutrients. So it's really just a way of sort of reconditioning the soil. Also, whenever you leach a pot, the water goes through the, the soil and it comes out the bottom and it sucks fresh air in behind it. So it, it literally, it, it percolates through that soil and it sucks fresh air in. The fresh air is what the roots really love, is they love to have fresh air in there. And roots will actually breathe oxygen. So we really need to make sure that we leach at least about twice a year. So that's it for today on, on leaching. Uh, make sure you do your plants a couple times a year. In the springtime, once it gets nice and warm outside, that's when you can take your plants right out and really give them a super good leaching and spray them down with water and get that water flowing through. Even just with a garden hose, that's the way to go. And that will really get, get them off to a quick start in the spring. So that's it for today. And remember to keep tuning in to ColonaGardens.com for all your gardening needs.